Sterile neutrinos could be the solution to several neutrino anomalies that exist in Earth-based experiments. Through astrophysical neutrino flavor, we can explore the effects of sterile neutrinos by looking at the imprint their mixing would leave on the active neutrinos. So what are their effects, and can we use astrophysical neutrino flavor today to actually search for sterile neutrinos? To summarize, neutrino oscillations imply that right-handed neutrinos exist, and neutrino mixing with right-handed neutrinos can be probed via the PMNS matrix. Currently, there is the possibility that the three-flavor neutrino mixing isn't unitary. One possible way of causing three-flavor non-unitarity is to include an extra sterile state, which is what we focus on here. In our study, we compute the expectation for two principal scenarios. The first is assuming two standard neutrino compositions at the source. The second is assuming a non-standard case dominated by sterile neutrinos. As the neutrinos traverse long distances, they undergo neutrino mixing that changes the composition by the time they reach the Earth. By including a fourth state, we need a new tool to visualize this ratio, and so we develop the flavor tetrahedron. Each axis represents the fraction of each flavor state and generalizes the usual three flavor ratio triangle. Since the sterile neutrino state is undetectable, we can visualize its impact by projecting it to the standard flavor triangle. So where are we today? Well, current experiments, such as the IceCube Neutrino Observatory, seem to be limited due to the low number of astrophysical neutrinos we've observed. The current data contour is covering most of the expectation for the cases of unitarity and non-unitarity in the PMNS matrix. But with upcoming experiments, such as IceCube Gen 2, this technique will become complementary to the many ways we search for sterile neutrinos.